All you need to know about Grotniki Immigration Center. All you need to know about Grotniki Immigration Center in respect to my case, and I think very important uh, also in respect to other cases which I believe concern Polish people. So you're not going to find out this from the internet, uh, but you're going to learn this from my case, which is a proven case. All you need to know about immigration center in Grotniki, for which I have claimed was open in 2003, uh, and I'm actually glad I did. Here exactly is why and how. Uh, this immigration center, I have to shock you, in a little bit you're going to hear the conversation, was open in 2010. But, but, here is how the story goes. No, this is actually a real story, real account of the witness. In 2002, we came here from Dembak. From Noviterk, Zakopane, we would move to Dembak. Then, we, most of the time, we would stay in Dembak. Still, we would stay most of the time in Dembak. Still, in a lot of time we would spend in 2002 and in 2003, we would, we would spend in Dembak. But more and more, we would start to come to Grotniki area. In 2002, when we first come, Dembak, that's near Warsaw. In 2002, when we first come here to Grotniki, we lodged by the lake. That was like a main location for us. I cannot forget that in 2002. In the summertime we came, it was hot, boy. Flies were everywhere inside. And this is this is location I have described also on how one looks on the inside. Uh, this is the fenced video surveillance property. You would not want to go and trespass. In fact, I have approved that security once was even there when I went when I went past there uh, in the evening. This is a very video surveillance fenced property. You would not want to go inside, but yeah, again, I know how it looks inside, and that's what I did. You got to look for the video in which I describe this. Thanks. Uh, and we had also a few other locations, right? Now, is this thing what is going to develop here in the long term? This is interesting to note that Donald Trump was for the first time in Zgirsh. This is the nearest city here, like city. In year 1998. When MK Ultra in Poland started, basically, he had already something going on in Zgersh that no MK Ultra staff member knew what. Came here with me once only. And that was when the construction commenced um, of the building in Zgersh. Near Main Zgersh. Library, uh, actually, I don't even know, like a bus stop, um, square in Zgersh. Yeah, I'm going to talk about that in video when I go through the Zgersh. But right now, this was the first time then he would not come ever here for like, wow, entire, at least four years, at least. So he had something going on, but let's disregard that stuff, okay? What matters here is to understand year 2003, when eventually we were at this place by the lake, I will not forget, I hear these words, I got it, I got it, I got it. And it was Kaczynski who speculated on this location. It was oftentimes I heard about conversation between him and Borat Pahornal, Slovenian president, who worked behind the curtain before he became a president. 
it was about this location a lot. They were very, very motivated, very, very interested in this location. Miller Zeman, he had his circle. They would talk about this stuff. And in 2003, it was, I got it, I got it, I got it. With the owner of Immigration Center, he made some kind of contract. What kind of contract that he made? Okay. In continuation, I'm going to explain, as you're about to see, one room. That's a room 35, was the room where we would move in first. We would have exactly that room and room right across our room, which I'm not really sure, but in continuation, because I filmed everything in the morning already, I'm going to point you out exactly what happened. And so we would have two rooms inside of this facility, which was a mental hospital. A mental care facility it was. You have no idea what I was, what I saw. It's outstanding. Outstanding. Um, I did not have fun. I did not enjoy. But imagine, I can only imagine what people that were not subject to MK Ultra and have seen this stuff what they have thought about. I already gave you a little input. Uh, now, I have gone through the whole thing. I have seen it all under MK Ultra and experience and tasted. None of you can possibly imagine that. For me, it's hard to imagine the staff members, what they have gone through. And they have gone through a lot. For them, this was mental experience, I think mental because this isn't like just a little emotional sometimes this is this is this goes to mental issues for some people it's very difficult really some people had a hard time coming back here all right room 30 uh excuse me 40 we were exactly the same room i was with a hassan very related individual government related individual One of the first that will come with us to this location. The second individual that would come along with him would be, who is not also inside of the center, is a Chechen police officer. I should say, maybe if you want to say that, ex-Chechen police officer. You got to understand, both of them have a Russian citizenship. Both of them... You know, I don't actually see the difference working for Kaczynski or KGB, to be honest. To me, it's all the same, really. But that actually explains just how trusted the two are, actually, by here, by the Polish authorities. If you want to call this Kaczynski authorities, I don't know. I can somehow not see this as an authority. I cannot. Okay? But this is how it started. Americans, American staff members, Slovenian board at Pahor was like ah, shirt and butt type of relationship with me and him. He was like a staff member like everywhere. And it's how it all started. Inside of the facility, there were residents. I can actually recall the gentleman Polish gentleman who understood English and it was on the same floor that is basically in Polish they see this like a second floor uh, in English they see this as a first floor okay ground floor and then first floor but in English in Poland they say, they say this is like a second in the second floor whatever in the second He was on the same wing as we are, but I'm going to point out, um, step out of the room, it would be what you're going to see probably, yeah, I think as a right you're going to see, it would be on the left, right at the end right there. He was a Polish individual who have, he was inside of the facility, smart enough, in fact, to observe me uh, in a situation as I was 
and was more than willing also to react to my situation. I started to call him for help as I observed that. Uh, he became motivated in help, um, but good luck in that facility with the SOS. I can actually describe his face. I know how the gentleman looked like. I remember him very, 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 very excellent, exceptionally very well. You show me the picture right now, I'm going to make you a sketch of his face. Because that's individual I remember very, very well. Very soon he no longer was motivated. Um, I have no idea. He also did not anymore became absent, I observed and so on. He was became lost, like really lost. Our wing, as you are about to see, was still populated, if you want to call this, a patience. The other wing, across ours, was entirely reserved for the patients. And uh, ground floor, it was all for the patients. So how have they managed to succeed to confuse me on a timing, 2003 and 2010? Well, like this. When we would go for a lunch, only from the beginning, only from the beginning when it all started, I will not forget this Borod Pahor. When we came and I sit and it was like I started to observe and I see the people that something was wrong with them and, and he was like, like this, like this, violently, like I'm not going to say that he would yell, but what are you, you know, what are you looking like? A, whoa, you know, all of a sudden, nice, but all of a sudden, whoom, you know, out of him. Now, I was others too, the same way. It's like you're supposed to look in your plate. Now, you're under MK Ultra, and you're like, your vision pretty much is whatever you are shown. That's all, or not. This changed within no time at all. They would have their lunch, or before they would have their lunch and morning breakfast, we would appear maybe like a half an hour earlier. Uh, we would get our stuff, maybe eat inside of the dining room or in our, inside of our rooms, and then they would have. And so this is how easy this thing is. And so you know nothing about who was inside of that facility, what went on, or absolutely anything. You exit, you go out of the facility, and you walk back and forth in this gersh. That's exactly how this thing was done. According to librarian, this is interesting because this, is, this actually relates to the situation with the Mila store over there in Sgersh too, because Germans did exactly the same way. They changed the ownership with a Polish company. It was a Polish company that would purchase a home market, make the store uh, with the same, basically the same kind of store like a Mila, identical. And then they would change the name, basically twist the name, change the name and Mila. And so you would not know where what is it and stuff like this it was like it was like a transaction they were doing i don't know whether they this immigration center get idea who got idea from whom what the lady the librarian local lady was very nice i really really thank her very much for her being so nice that she in fact gave me well she called me a little bit a schizophrenic and stuff like this but that's quite okay um she gave me an idea about, in fact, that in 2009, I think she said, you're going to hear this in English, uh, in 2009 or whatever, this was just, uh, uh, it changed into hotel from mental hospital. 
And then in 2010, this became immigration center. So now we are getting somewhere. Now you actually understand how this thing was done. And for me, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. She gave me this information because this actually helped me concentrate on information she gave me. Start thinking about what I have seen inside of the dining room, whom I have seen, uh, and start thinking about what I have actually seen uh, in the wing where I was. And so thank you so much for this information. This was very, very helpful. Um, Mrs. Librarian claims that, I don't know, that she finds that she knows nothing about me, tra la 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 la, and the audio recording. I'm not going to say that I confront. I did not confront. This gentleman is like a super, super nice gentleman. One of the nicest gentlemen um, I have met under MK Ultra. You're going to hear I ask him about because I remembered myself that he's got. I, I was 100% sure that's his brother that is right across our uh, facility, but at the end of the street, totally in the end of the street, before you go to the forest, uh, there are like two houses. I was told that this is where he would go, to his brother. Okay, the information not exactly accurate, and my bad, because the gentleman lived on another you're not going to hear this in audio recording, but I already have recalled his story now. Okay, he lived on another location, which in my head, I have to look on the map, I have to look around, I have to think about, because this is how you get the memories. You get the memories, it's a fascinating, I'm, I am fascinated with myself that I could go to the map, I look at the map, and that I actually find the portion of the towns where I was brought and the portions of towns where these people have houses and stuff like this is fascinating. I did not know that stuff like this is possible, especially after what I have endured, but it is. It's even if you would like in real time, you would say here and this and that and you wouldn't pay attention to it. It would be like, I don't, I don't even know why I paid attention to that stuff, but I guess it's kind of an interesting stuff to me that they they really helped me out, no? I mean, I really want to thank everybody for this, no? And so this is the stuff still I have to go over and find out exactly where he lived. But sometimes I think in oh, maybe 2013. I estimate he actually moved to his brother. In Grotniki. This is the stuff you don't hear on the audio, but I remember that his brother was here already and then he moved to this location as well. This is the stuff you're not gonna hear and he lives, I don't know exactly which house because again I didn't pay attention to this because a lot a lot of things happening. More stuff I have to pay attention to whatever, but if you would go from the library out it should be like on the left side up the hill, basically across the uh, across where the library is. But then again, I never was in that area, or was I at night, maybe once only. That's all there was. And it was a winter time, and I thought I'm going to kill myself because it was so icy. Just on my way... To center that's all there was don't know that area at all I have to go and yet see that place at all okay I got to see that I got to see it so that I know but I remember this I remember this as he bought the house okay so there you have that's more information that he gives out on audio and I know it one one time it was when I asked him about his profession and I made a mistake about about his profession uh, there was one one audio one time that I asked him about first time when I saw him I was pretty sure that he is a psychologist 
and he was not a psychologist he was he is a what well, this is he's got a profession such a beautiful one something to do i think with uh navigating something like this pilot something like that i i again forgot um I, he really wanted to help me out a lot and i am gonna pull out uh, i will somehow memorize where his previous house or whatever residence was i am gonna do that somehow i'm gonna try to pull that out and I made a mistake about that. It was just a brief contact. Hello, uh, he parked in front of the library and I asked him a question outside of the library. He said no, and then he left. And so forget about, ever since I did not even, um, I didn't even bother to have, you know, to try to, to identify, he had so many other things and so that was it. You are also going to hear librarians saying that, suggesting that we never met, that I am a schizophrenic, and stuff like, and stuff like this. Not nice at all. Um, not nice stuff at all. Um, but I don't really care because, you know, she's got a right to say whatever she wants to say, is, as I explained in the audio. This is just your word against mine. One of the things, and I'm actually grateful to her for giving me information about Oshrodek Immigration Center because, folks, I do not ever have I touched, uh, browsed internet, anything like this, um, have anything to do with it that would give me an idea when the center was open or whatever anything like this none of that kind of stuff uh, i am thankful about her in my head i was very certain that in 2003 this became eventually immigration center it did not it did not you also as i as i explain gonna hear her how uh, I suggested her that I met her here in 2005 uh, and, she, and her hair goes up, no, 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 it's impossible, I was in Gersh, uh, I got job here in 2008, then she changed, uh, it's 2007, um, I would say that's, cor that's about correct, 2007. I am not, however, retracting my statements in respect to our meeting, Mrs. Librarian. Um, despite all, I have to say that I will correct myself. You said in 2006 that you were 25, uh, and I will change instead of saying claiming. Basically, this is a claim. Uh, how I have met you in 2005, we're going to change that to 2004 year 2004 we're gonna go with and the first you met peter it was the curiosity that brought you to grotniki where i was i was actually the one peter thanked me that you were so curious about my case and it was on the weekends you would come and it's fascinating as a student as you were I suppose this was in Lodge, that you were so dedicated student that at the same time you were so dedicated to my case because I remember that there were it was time with I was like quite pleased to have you around like for the whole week. So that I must have been a really, really interesting person. Uh, all through that we had nothing uh, physically going or anything like this, or in a platonic way anyways. Uh, somehow I had contributed to your Tomek uh, and to your Elka, so that makes me feel good too. Peter already thanked me, and so, all right, this is your claim against mine. <laughs> it's quite okay with me, whatever you have to say. 
uh, uh, I changed that from 2005 to make myself clear, Mrs. Librarian, to 2004. Oh, I promise I will not ask anybody in library for that matter again uh, if they remember me and stuff like that. This was recorded about uh, over a week ago and I'm actually expecting people, more and more people, to come forward alone and give me confirmation about the presence of Americans and of course the most important is the number one man who was here in, in Grotniki already in 2002 that will be so wonderful in fact I am expecting this I think I'm thinking about and I'm saying to myself isn't it already I'm thinking about Americans and and Germans and Czechs and all these people around here and Ukrainians and all these people that know me what did I read the news today ah it was so many people involved in this maybe guys it's about time to say oh yes it is true yeah it is not a schizophrenia it is not a paranoia case this is just something like this that actually did happen so uh, looking forward to get a lot of your confirmations, a lot of yes, 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 uh, including from the police department alone in Zgirš. I do like to hear about that stuff too. There is a gentleman who has a son in a Norway. I can tell you about that too. He's a police officer in Zgirš. Um, this is the stuff, this is the people I do like to hear, I do like to get the confirmation from. You know, say, Mr. Sebastian, Bob at the time was my name, Bustian, Bob. Uh, he was here, we know him, and so on and so forth. All right, now the audio recording is coming. Uh, pretty much, gentleman says uh, that he does not remember me. He is afraid to say anything about Americans, about me. Don't remember me. He really wants to help me. I hope next time... When we meet, that you alone say, yes, I do remember you. I remember you. I remember this. Um, just like some people already did, I really need your help. It would be nice that we finish this thing and we do something good. Not only for each other, for, for the country, for the people, for this world. Um, beside that, he also corrects me about his brother no not my brother over there but my friend actually excuse me not my friend but somebody at some place whatever his hobby is whatever work together like a friend no i don't know why he came up with this. that cannot be a friend if you are hanging around all the time that probably for so many years uh, if you're hanging around already for like sir like my goodness, like 15 years that I know, that probably then is your friend. I mean, it's got to be a friend for 15 years. Come on. All right, audio next. Uh, audio and video. First, video about the place. Interior. Then, the audio for you. All right, my friends, we are on the first floor right now. You see, these are stairs. And this is the wing you see right there. This wing was always reserved for mental patients, ah, all the way to 2010. But this one actually, excuse me, 2009, whatever. And this one here, this wing, this was our wing. This is where it all started at first. And systematically, gradually, sometimes by, I estimate, uh, 2008 maybe, this was entirely our wing. This wing here, like this, I would say. Okay, so you can imagine it all started for the first, at least I'm going to say, um, three years. Well, I should say, you know, mid-2006, absolutely, excuse me, in 2006, this was already our wing, the one that I have demonstrated to you. The rest, however, also the ground floor, that did remain to be uh, just a mental here, uh, mental health facility okay so this much about this thing here and we started at the end of that hallway that you see it on the in a little bit I'm gonna demonstrate you units 
and we're going to go from there. So this, this I'm going to do it really with uh, precision. 2003, the first time here. You're talking about maybe five, nah, six people at least we were. Okay, six people, two rooms. Two rooms. That was room 40 on the left and then another room in a little bit I'm going to show you okay so that's how you that's how that is so you don't own nothing inside of the facility you have no idea who is inside or whatever like this in the morning off you go for a breakfast uh, and lunch and you know you don't see you don't know nothing about what's going on who is where is what is now well, interesting Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'll give you the account that eventually some people are not... I think it's going to leave them sleepless tonight. Here, room 40, 2003, and ever since, this was almost like a room for me. Always was inside of this room. It was damn boring. Right across our room, room 36, first MK Ultra staff members came that were with us simultaneously as we were in this place so we only had two rooms in 2003 the room 36 again and across the hallway our room room 40 boom the gentleman let me see what i'm gonna okay Okay, sometimes, I get it, sometimes in 2000 and already 4, 2005, uh, room 35 in which I am now also become occupied. At later stage, this became like a personal room of Elon Musk, who proclaimed me, I will never forget, in 2009, now it's okay, now it's hotel, this is our place now. This is where the gentleman was, this place, this room, this is where the gentleman was who was very concerned for me. And this was the only gentleman beside another gentleman in this facility who actually looked to me as if they were completely sane, as if there actually was nothing wrong with them. And so this gentleman worked along with his partner and there might be maybe another individual but he was the, the soundest one and then there was another individual also that was concerned for this case to actually create a revolt to actually get attention to this place and help me out somehow i will not forget this gentleman for as long as i am alive the only thing i can tell you is his health deteriorated hassan laughed about this pretty evil he laughed about it. It was a funny thing to him. I will not forget about that stuff, too. Um, and we saw him less and less that we would return until one time. Eventually, we no longer would see him. How about this? How about this account? Was this good enough for you? A room 35 I'm in right now and the room below where Valerio was where I was with him when I first came here. This uh, room, I have seen only a few times the room below. I was at the beginning of this MK Ultra when it all, sometimes 2005, 2006, something like this. 2004 I did. Uh, and the room 35, I have seen one only in the end of the MK Ultra. Only in the end of the NK Ultra. This was like a personal room from Mr. Musk, from Alan Musk. Inside of this facility, this is also fascinating. The windows are exactly the same kind of windows as are the windows in my parents' house in Slovenia. Here I can see that windows were placed sometimes in 2002. However, in Slovenia, the windows were installed when they brought me from the U.S. sometimes in 2004, 2005, I actually estimate. Okay, the same kind of windows, identical kind of windows for which eventually Weber, uh, my niece's husband, have told me 
this is where these windows, he said, are not completely exactly the same. All through to me, they look totally the same. I don't really know, I cannot account the difference I have to see on, on YouTube, whatever I post it, to me they look the same. But he said, this is where these windows, they got idea from and it's got to do with this place. To me they look like totally, totally the same like in our house in Slovenia. Alright? So, you better believe it. In Slovenia, I'm going to repeat to you for you to understand nobody nobody but me almost speaks polish you get this nobody in slovenia speaks polish in slovenia my neighbor across the street the one who was involved in torture is the one that speaks polish language and my niece's husband is the one that speaks polish language borut pahor also speaks Polish language. Other than that, people, the population, do not speak Polish language. Nobody speak, speaks Polish language in Slovenia. This is not Slovakia, this is Slovenia, this is next to Italy, Austria, Croatia, and so on. Um, German, French, English is what, as a foreign language, people speak. They also speak, of course, uh, Serbo Croat. Few might actually even speak Russian. Nobody speaks Polish, though. How much exactly do I remember? 2003. 2003, when we first came inside. Okay, you want to know how much I remember one? The gentleman, the resident that wanted to help me out, that would visit our room also, the room number 40, where Hassan was inside. Uh, they allow him to talk. To have his say, he had his friend ins inside of our room too. Hassan listened to this. Hassan understands English. He understands English, I can tell you that. Back then, he spoke some English. A man of the people he had to deal with, Americans, would surprise me he would not speak English. That he would perhaps forgot some or something like this. Uh, he understands English very well. Hassan told me, don't bet into it, don't bet into it. He was inside of the room. Eventually, when I started to communicate with him, when he started to talk to me, when he started to look at me, and he started to wonder about the whole thing, this guy was a police officer in Russia. This was a Russian police officer. He said to me, don't bet into it. He said, don't bet into it. Then he started to talk to Americans and to other people and about getting rid of him. And I don't know. The only thing, I, the only account I can give is what I remember as far as I can go. Okay? This is not a nice person, this roommate I was with for like, I don't know how long here in this facility. There is another Hassan, another police officer, also was a police officer in Chechnya. He was one of the first people who came along with us. From Dembak he came. Oh, that was like a boogeyman, but that guy liked me. Uh, I would rather see say that he saw good things in me more than other stuff. Hassan had a problem, but, you know, these are two different... Same name, but two different people from the same country, but very different people. Enter just also a little infant. You're also going to hear me describing a French gentleman. Oh, uh, Mrs. Librarian. She speaks Parla Francais very good. Very, very good. And you got to ask yourself, where the hell would I know how the gentleman looks like and stuff like that. It's in English. You got to listen to that. Definitely. Uh, um, I don't know how long she stayed in France. Uh, things were... Something went wrong. Uh, then she came back and she came again together with the Mr. Peter. So I would not know these things. I would not describe people from France. Come on. Uh, you know, he would meet before. That would not be the case.
Prowadziłam się tutaj w 2008 roku. A tak na a pracę zaczęłam tutaj siedzieć tamtego listopada 2007 roku. Rzecz. No to dwie inne rzeczy. Jedna jest, jedna jest... A historia to historia. No, 
Kurde, za mene je isto hošće. To ne možno gledati tu, co to bilo. To toliko možno ispanjati. Ne možno, ne možno tu, ta. Ja. I remember you at least from 2005, you were with the Peter. At least. Jesteś chory, lepszy, nie jest, nie znam Cię od 2005, ah. a Piotr sam uznałam... So, it, it was in 2007, officially. W 2005 yeah. roku yeah. mój drogi, to ja byłam jeszcze... Ja uh, jeszcze yeah, student, no? Mówię, że nie byłam we Francji. I spotykałam się z innym zupełnie facetem. I nie znałam go. Z innym facetem, a francuskim facetem? Ten facet miał gawkę? Miał oczkę? Nie. Nie miał, a co? To zaraz mi opowiesz, jak wyglądało moje życie jeszcze we Francji, tak? Ja, jeszcze jedną rzecz by tak chciał zapytać. Co miało, miało tu jedno francuskie, nie wiem, co było. Co było nie był nie był francus, nie był wszystki francus. Był, nie wiem, z drugiego rządu, ale mówił francuski, nie wiem, co się robił tam. Nie. W Francji. Nie urodził się we Francji. Nie urodził się we Francji. A ta, ta, ten pan... E, ale to jest to kurwa interesuje. Ale ja to, bo muszę znać wszystko. Ale wiecie co mam, to jest moje życie. Nie znam cię człowieku. To znałam cię za ten parę miesięcy temu i zaczynam się ciebie no, bać. To twoje... Zaczynam się this ciebie bać. Nie. Yeah. Bo ja zaczynam się ciebie stale poważnie obawiać. Co to jest poważnie obawiać? Bać się. Mene, bać się? Tak. Bo, pierdzielisz trzy po, bo ty pierdzielisz 3 po 3, para 15, twierdzisz, że mnie znasz od 2005 roku. To jest chore, wiesz? For sure, from 2006, that's about at least... To jest chore, nie znam cię od 2006 roku. Nie znam cię. Życie cię na oczy, kurwa, nie widziałam, dopiero, dopóki nie przyjechali do środka. This is my life. But it's okay, I don't care about your life. What do I care about your life? What what do I care about your life? I mean, I don't understand. What what do I care about your life? Why would you be scared of me? I mean, I don't because you uh, you thought uh, you are speaking about things which are insane, totally insane. Well, you, why is that insane? I don't because know. I didn't know my husband in okay. 2006 okay. or okay. 2005. Okay. And, okay. this, and this is your imagination. Okay. I have my parents. I have no, not only my oh words, my again, gosh. your okay. words. Look, I don't care. I don't care about you. you know. I don't give a shit about you. I don't care about you. So You're right. It's more than just your word against mine. It's okay. It's all right. I'm afraid of you too. Burning this video, it's really, really slow. Now you're going to see the memory. You know who this gentleman was? You know who this gentleman was? This was not a mental patient. This gentleman was a low-income individual. This gentleman was a gentleman who did not have enough work stash. And he could still go and work. But he kind of figured out, because he did not have enough work stash, that he would just go along with this program, or whatever the program was. He might have been on medications, I don't know. Uh, I will not forget in Slovenia when they gestured me the same thing that I should just, my father did actually. I should just be a mental patient because I don't have enough uh, for the social security. I, don't I did not have enough work stash. This is my daddy, folks. Like I said, he's worse than Joseph Fritzl. And this individual, I believe, was in about same kind of situation. Um, he was just inside in there because he did not have enough work stash uh, and he used this as an opportunity to have basically shelter over his head. With a precision, I'm going to tell you who this gentleman was. In previous video, I have mentioned a security guard at the front gate who is also employed at a military facility about 30 kilometers away from here. It's like this inside of the complex I, this i'm talking about inside of the military complex not supposedly that i never was in the town although i was of course uh and inside of the military facility which is like restricted access of course
course, this is a military facility, if you understand. As I have mentioned, they have this, like, some kind of statue, whatever it is. We were there already in 2013, because in 2015, they have placed, like, a black, about 6 times 10, uh, how you say that, um, whatever that was. I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was dark, kind of a black thing, like, not like a house, but like a little, like a little storage, like a cubicle, something like this, right in front of that thing. You see, this is what was new in 2015, I remember. So, now I'm already giving you what have changed inside of the military base, inside of the military facility. And there was some other stuff too. You see, it doesn't come immediately, but once you start to think about these things, then it comes back. All you have to do is basically pay attention to that stuff, and then it all comes back. This is basically how it works, this MK Ultra stuff. All right. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time. About the ex roommate Hassan, no, his English not advanced. This is just basic commands in English that he started along the way to understand a little bit. But, 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 it's just like they say here in Polish language. This is really, really beautiful. I have found something interesting and I'm going to give you an idea. A note, okay? Let's say that you're accompanied by your assistant or whatever and he makes the notes for you and you would say to him in, in Polish you would say proszę zanotować notatka uwaga nota przypis liszczyk adnotacja zapisek karteluszek and so on uh, they noted absolutely everything I would ask everything I would do it was adnotacja and it was a translation to him and whether he was interested, they were interested in giving me some input, input whatever it would be used for MK Ultra. Uh, he would get exactly the instructions, pretty much on how to say in English. And he started to learn basic commands in English, but still his English very bad, very poor. Uh, I would not be surprised. And meanwhile, he forgot the whole thing. But he did understood a few words. He was capable to say if they told him and so on. Okay, my friends, let's go to year 2003. You see this place here? This is inside of this immigration center. Look at this. You see there are trees here and you see the fence. Fence. There are two trees here, like this. See? This thing was never before. This is something I have not even idea. I don't have idea when this was done. Uh, all I can tell you is that fence was actually like this. It went like this inside all the way like that it was a shitty fence because in 2003 there is a road over there that people would walk straight i have no idea when somebody had purchased behind this property here but this is basically exactly what have happened if you want to know if i know this property or not people walk through here uh sometimes up to i believe sometimes up to i assume sometimes maybe 2005 maybe something like this then they finally fix it something like this i assume and this thing here basically was done for me not to see it i guess what exactly was here but it, this is just a brutal fact about this place that much i know this place this i went to 2003 right now i don't know exactly what the difference is these are the windows that will block the sound very good on the outside there is a gas inside of them if not completely identical Ah, oh, then damn, they look exactly almost like the windows inside of my room, inside of our house. If not completely, completely identical. And that includes not entirely the frames, but inside the room where I am, almost the same. This was installed, I think, in 2002. And as I stated, inside of our house in 2004, 2005, in my room. Ah, uh, this was the message I got from my niece's husband he was the one who told me to look for this thing here it is basically is inside of the room and you can see it's pretty much it almost is identical there is the year of the production i guess installation
Again, there's a special kind of windows that block. This was a big time novelty in the Eastern Europe. This is why I say this. We have never had this before in Eastern Europe. For us, this was a total novelty.